guys. Hey, Kelly, that's going to go. I've heard this is going to be one hour. It's going to be. And I can look at you, right? Awesome. It's always more comfortable. All right. All in season one. Brandon Staley, take one. Brandon Staley, head football coach, Los Angeles Chargers. Do you mind introducing yourself to us? My name is Justin Herbert, and I play quarterback for the Los Angeles Chargers. LaDainian Tomlinson, Pro Football Hall of Famer. I'm Tom Telesco. I'm general manager of the Los Angeles Chargers. You could just assess last season's team performance on the field. How would you go? It just wasn't good enough. We're on the on to 2021. So now, what's the vision for the Los Angeles Chargers? The foundation for our team will start with relationships. Let's go, baby. Let's have fun, Let's go, baby. Nothing more, nothing less. Be you, brother. I love it, Justin. I love it. Good job, Herbie. You know how difficult it is. You know the competition that exists out there each and every day. There's a lot going on in pro football. There's a lot of scheme. There's a lot of assignment stuff. There's a lot of where to go, what to do. I'm taking over. Go over. But how you do it matters. Yes, sir, Herbo. It should be obvious how hard we play. There's so much excitement about this Chargers team. But this team looks playoff bound. I think this is the most excitement that I felt in this city about this team. You know, so much about winning. Run, we're coming to hunt it now. It happens long before the final result. Matt, last season obviously did not go the way I think anyone would have hoped. How would you summarize the Chargers 2020 season? I would summarize the Chargers 2020 season as probably opportunities gained and opportunities lost. Mahomes, there's Bosa. Joey Bosa. Touchdown. Keenan Allen. What a grab. Kenneth Murray. Eckler. What a grab by Mike Williams. There was a legitimate possibility that this team could have made the playoffs. Like every week, you see Justin Herbert going out and throwing for 400 yards. And there's just so much promise there. Hey, Justin, congratulations on being the Pepsi Rookie of the Year, man. The other part of it is the frustration. Kick is up, and he got it. It is through, and the Chiefs win. Got hit as he threw the ball. Oh, he just, wow. That would have been a walk-in. It's a game of inches, the old cliche, and unfortunately, those inches led to losses. Does not make it to the marker. He is a half yard short. The game is over. This is a team that had the lead in the fourth quarter in five of their losses. I mean, that's a lot. You have a game-winning touchdown against the Raiders at home. Everyone thinks they've won. The players are celebrating. Everyone thinks that this slide is over and the Chargers have finally won a game with Justin Herbert. That gets overturned. Oh, that is an incomplete pass. You're sitting there as a fan, you're watching this, you're so excited about what you have in this superstar quarterback, Justin Herbert, but you're frustrated that the results aren't happening. I think that sort of was the dichotomy of the 2020 season. You guys gonna be looking sharp today? Oh. You gonna look like a gentleman? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're running. Keenan <laughs> Allen. I'm so excited. Um, you're making so many people proud, as you know. But more than anything, I just want to thank you for what you've deposited into me as a player. As a player, yes, but also as a man. Very excited, man. I heard nothing but great things about you. Can't wait to get to work. Hi, Brandon. It's Pops. I wanted to let you know that I'm really proud of you. And it's not something that's surprising to me because I know how hard you have worked uh, to become a head coach. What's going on? Justin, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Can't complain right now. Where are you off to? 
uh, we're going down to this press conference right now. Well, just wanted you to know the reason why you know I'm reaching out is just you know cannot wait to get started. You know, and uh, yeah. just can't wait to to learn about each other and can't wait to hear about your family and you know hopefully you're enjoying some time up there, man. It's, uh, it's been a little cold up here, but uh, it's been a lot of fun though. It has it been? Hey, man, I just wanted to uh, introduce you to someone really special to me. You know, um, you'll be getting to know us a lot, but this is my wife, Amy. Hi, Justin. Hi, Amy. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so excited to meet you. Our boys are already wanting to wear your jersey, so. Oh, really? I think yeah, we're we making can, a... We can make that happen easily. I think we're going to stop in the equipment room so they can put the jerseys on and let it rip in the backyard. They love that, so. Oh, gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Good deal, man. I mean, in my opinion, in the organization, the most important hire is the head coach of, of, of anything. It's the most important hire. You know, you interview coaches, and, and we interviewed a lot of really good coaches. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm so excited to be here. Look, this is a really exciting day. You know, we're here to introduce the new coach of the LA Chargers and, and really welcome uh, to the Charger family. Uh, Brandon Staley, his wife, Amy, their three boys, Colin, Will, and Grant. Thank you, John. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, this is so exciting. Really appreciate everyone being here. You know, I've just always been raised to be so grateful for your opportunities and, and that you didn't do it alone. Good job, guys. So when the Chargers hired Brandon, first I Googled to make sure he was older than me and I was happy to see that he was because it's really upsetting these days when you learn a coach is younger than you. No, but um, I thought for the Chargers to hire Brandon Staley from the Rams after just you know one season there as defensive coordinator, it was surprising. Around the NFL, um, there was a lot of excitement and respect for what he was doing, but you know he, he made the leap pretty quickly. Most of your resume is what, what you see on the field. His position groups with Chicago and with Denver played really well. Good push up the middle. It starts to close. Wilson goes down. Got some peace, I think. Hey, I think it'll give you a hat. The talent that he had in place, they made a leap from being great to elite. It's Bradley Jones. I think the one thing that has jumped out to me is that Brandon Staley, more than anything else, cares about teaching. Number one in points a lot. Number one in yards a lot. But it's so much more. I mean, it's the most dominant defense in the National Football League right now. Jalen Ramsey put the pop on him. As a man, as a coach, he's the best defensive coordinator that I've had. Yeah, team room. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. I think everybody's here, right? Everybody's here, right? I think. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. All right, we'll get rolling. I don't care about anybody else except the Chargers. That's how I live my whole life. I'm not worried about anybody else in the division, anybody else in pro sports, okay? I'm only worried about us and being consumed with this place and trying to see how far we can do it together. And so we have this great thing. We're all here together. We're all brand new. I haven't been at the beginning of something, right, very often. It happened once that I can remember. It was at John Carroll when I was with Tommy. We're at the beginning and we get a chance to create something. Oh, wow. We both so much ice in the same I know. line. I feel like it looks the same. Well, this is, this is where we live, guys. I'll never forget that that was our bedroom up there. And 
Our bed was positioned so that when you would sit up in the morning, you would look across and see the field. And I feel like that's when I knew I was definitely a football wife. We had such a special uh, family environment here. Helen John, you want to throw the ball? Show us how you throw. There you go. Grandma, you going to get the ball? Who do we got here, man? I'm Tyler. I play tight end. You know, this is where you can say, like, becoming a head coach kind of began. I think this is kind of where we found our rhythm as a couple, uh, as a family, um, and then I, where I found my rhythm as a coach. There's a D3 school that has been dominating the NFL headlines the last few weeks. He just might not know it. Okay. Really, it's been the last few years, whether you're aware of it or not. Let me introduce you guys to John Carroll University. All right, guys, so this is the basement of Don Shula Stadium where all of our offices are. This is where all the magic happened. You know, the musty smell, it, uh, it brings back a lot of good memories. You know, I, I think certain people have something different. They have a, a certain presence. They have a certain quality that just stands out to you right away. And I felt that immediately with Brandon. Within the first 30 seconds, I knew what his dreams were. I knew where he was going to be. Hi, I'm Brandon Staley. I'm the defensive coordinator. There was no doubt in our mind once we came into fall camp that year in 2013, leading into 2014, that this was like an NFL operation. And it wasn't something that they, as a coaching staff, really spoke about. Um, but you felt it as a player. Okay, this, this is an important room. This is the defensive meeting room right here, guys. This is, this is where it all happened. I see we got some coaches in here. His knowledge of offensive, defensive football, his knowledge of the kicking game uh, is very rare. As he was explaining how we were going to play defense, everything was through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think that has allowed him to see the game differently. What's interesting is a lot of people see the coach, the football success, that's not really him. He was showing us that it's so much bigger than this moment. He was teaching us life. He was teaching us overcoming adversity. He was teaching us prioritizing. He was teaching us to be all in. And this is where BC and I were. This is our office right here. Yeah, I was right here. And Coach Cochran, he was right there. So where was your office? Right here. I was right here, and I looked this way. When they say your dreams come true, I think that statement means a lot. I think to different people, what it means to me is that there's just so many people that helped me. All right, here we go. D. Swinton, you got me? Are we guys good? Give me thumbs up, guys. Yes, sir. DJ, what's up, baby? Okay, all right, here we go, guys. Hey, welcome. Hey, virtual, year two of virtual. I mean, you, you can't make this up, guys. Guys, if you guys got a coffee cup, can we cheers to virtual 2021? Balaga from Florida with love. It's a Drake song. So here we go. And I want you guys to know today, right? Hey, Josh Kelly, this is April 19th, Monday. This is a dream come true for your head coach. This is a dream come true. I want you to know that I've been preparing my whole life for this first meeting. Not for the first game, but for this first meeting. How's the staff coming together for Brandon Staley? We're ready. Our guys like feel like look ready. I think that you know that your success is directly going to be impacted by those people. You see what I'm saying? It's independent feet. One and two. One and two. I wasn't just trying to hire a coaching staff, I was trying to hire the right coaching staff. Everything becomes more familiar, it'll all slow down for you. But right now I like how your urgency, hey, it's not open, I'm going across the board and you're getting there. That's yeah. huge. Hey, that's huge. Keep it up. Ready to go! It's still counter left. Suck him in, suck him in, suck him in. Boom! Woo! Yeah, there we go. All right, team, red kick over here. We were looking for a diversity of experiences, complementary experiences, some, you know, people that could really complement me. He said he wanted to create a coaching staff for his players that is on the cutting edge of pro football. Knowing the foundation that they've built here, just knew that there were these 
these key anchors that were going to lead to success for this team in the future, you know, with the right head coach. And I thought Brandon was the right head coach. So you got this foundation, and then to me, right, you build it right with people. And, right, and that's why you guys are here. Character, capacity, okay, it means everything to me. Your character is ultimately going to be your ceiling. It will, because if you're not a good guy, you're going to get exposed. We'll expose you, I promise you that. If you're not a good, if you're not a good person, the players will figure it out even fast. If you're a mercenary, you could be a wizard, one of these sorcerer, you know, the people everybody's talking about. But if you're not a good guy, ultimately, there's somebody that's going to be a good guy, and he's going to outrun you. Strap Harris. You? You? Hey, man. How are you? Amazing. <laughs> I mean, he, he's big on relationships. As you build a football team, relationships and bonding is, is so key. I mean, this league, 32 football teams, and everybody is talented. Like, the, the difference between the most talented team and maybe the 32nd team isn't very much. So you have to find that, find those margins, find those edges, and it's, it's you know, how you build the team. You really got to make sure that the general manager and the head coach are on the same page philosophically and, and the vision. You know, because we're working together on this. You can't have two separate visions. Rashawn Slater. Oh, Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. When you say we're all in this together, you got to show that. You guys that have been in the NFL, it's a really long season, right? You start July 27th, and if you're a good team, right, you don't get done to the middle of February. It's a pretty long season. In order for you to be able to sustain and peak at the right time, playing your best ball at the end, right, your walkthrough standards got to be at a high level. Now, it's not going to be easy mentally. We're going to put it on you, and there are going to be some things that we don't get right, but we'll get it right on Sunday. But we got to create a walkthrough standard of how to practice and how to practice where we are getting ready to play. What's really important to me for you players is that you guys have the space to play, that you have space. You don't have these coaches just like wrecking your concentration, right? Worried about making a mistake. We're not gonna coach like that. I don't want to take away your instincts. I want you guys to play. Here we go, here we go, get moving. Going individual, going individual, going in individual. I'm a big believer in the power of moments. You know, and I think everybody remembers like that first impression. Here we go, work! Huh. Some of that cross shot. Huh, there it is. We got a little sweat going on. We got a little sweat going on. I'm left, all right? Joey Bosa, we got a little sweat. What's up, buddy? A little sweat. You can't get anywhere, guys, by doing it the easy way. You know, you're saying, okay, coach, all right, hot shot. Well, what are we about? And what's gonna be in this complex here is, and it's what's on your shirts that you're gonna be working out in, is our way, okay? And our way is relationships and competition. Trust doesn't happen right away. You have to earn it. You can't get anywhere, guys, by doing it the easy way. We have to push it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Just keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. One more, one more. Physical after the catch, guys. Finish! Drive it, good. I think it was important to me when I first got hired, you know, your first impression with individual players. Everyone talk to us about this quarterback of ours. You guys all know how good he is. that's it, And now this is our first training camp together. The competitiveness and the purpose that you gotta operate with every single day. No! Pump it! We're gonna ask a lot of you. And we gotta put the focus on the Los Angeles Chargers. We don't need to worry about anybody else. This is not an entertainment business. If you want to see more content like this, check out the link right here.